Monday. Vlog 25 is uploaded. It is my anniversary today, 10 years with my husband, and I have so little motivation to do anything today. <laughs> We'll see how today goes. It is also, at the time of recording this clip, just a little after 10.30, and we have already, I think, broken 68 degrees. But we're not out of frost risk yet. Sure. The garden has to stay inside still. But I got my windows open already. So I have my April Bujo set up already. I was feeling very unproductive, very what's a good word? Unfocused. Let's just say unfocused. So I went ahead and filmed that today. Um, I'm not releasing that until the 26th, though. So, I was smart, though. I went ahead and picked out the themes for my remaining Buja months. And I think a part of why I went ahead and just set up April is because I am so over using this particular bullet journal. Don't get me wrong, the Exceed brand is a very practical brand, especially if you are extremely budget conscious. And I'm just, I'm ready. <laughs> I think the main reason why I want to set up May so much though, is because I chose my favorite insect, my number one favorite insect, and that is butterflies. And I have a lot of really pretty stationery that has butterflies in it. And I'm, I'm looking forward to setting up May. I used my hit this time too. As soon as I got done recording April, I put that video onto that so that I don't accidentally lose it. And it's a good thing I did. That was an hour and eight minutes to set up my video. But it means I don't have to set it up later. And I feel pretty good about it actually um, because yeah, <laughs> I feel very good about it. Although all of the homestead slash outside things I track, uh, they have their own page now because April, I expect to add three or four things to the things that I'm keeping track of. Go me. So I went ahead and 
already cut out all of my tabs for May and June. And my colors on my tabs don't match <laughs> what I was planning. But that's okay. Today was a bit of a nothing burger. Um, but, you know, Wednesdays are weird days anyways at times, especially when I don't know if Dave is going to be going back to Phoenix for the weekend for work or not. And that's a three hour, three and a half hour drive. That wince that those of you in the future heard were people remembering how much gas costs right now. It ain't cheap. Go get him. Go get him, Chaka. Go on, go. My youngest dog, Chakta, is sitting in the doorway, glowering because she's like, Dad should be coming to bed too. That's <laughs> not even. I don't know what time is it? I'm not sure. But it's not even 9 p.m. yet. It's like 8. And I was just tired of eating in the studio. So I was like, I'm just going to come in to the bedroom. I'm going to center. I'm going to take a deep breath. And I am going to make sure that the rest of the month doesn't get away from me in terms of taking care of projects. So I do apologize if I'm a little quiet. I've had a stuffed nose all day. Um, the allergies are cranking. We've had four brush fryers in the valley that I live in in the last two days. A large part of it is because people are forgetting how dry things are getting because the wind has been blowing constantly. And wind dries things out even more so than what just sunshine does. And it's... Yeah. So Dave and I have been very paranoid about what we do involving electricity, things that could generate static electricity. Um, there is such thing as static lightning, and it has been known to start fires. Heat lightning can start fires too, but heat lightning is a concept that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about in recent years. So they might be calling it something else now. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's, that's just about it for you guys for today. Um, Tuesday, didn't really have much of anything. I uh, had a rant on Instagram Live uh, on my Instagram channel, which I need to remember to link in the description. And I am going to write that, that down now so I don't forget. I will catch you guys tomorrow on Thursday. So this is what I am working on this Thursday. You guys, uh, this is just a attempt to use up all of my Brene Super Savory yarn in a Tetris inspired granny square blanket. This is for a big brother and his wife, my, my sister-in-law. Kind of hit on a small snag though, because I was in a great rhythm and someone does not appreciate me taking her bed <laughs> so I will probably finish up attaching the squares that I've already pulled out I will cover her up with this blanket and I will go to work on something else because yeah I just can't move that it's too cute right now she'll get out of it later today but you know I can I can leave her in there for now as it is I actually have to start work I need to start uh, brown bagging some lunches for Dave so He really, 
really, really, really needs to put uh, gas mileage onto the initial retainer for work. But if things keep getting a little bit tighter, I might go ahead and bring the shop online before the end of the year. I've got a few more things I need to learn how to do first, though. But, you know, I made the decision today that the new shop, after my break, and in conjunction with the YouTube channel now, is just going to be, quite simply, Crane's Hearth Productions. No need to get fancy with the name, but that's what it's going to be called when I bring it online. Which might be a while, because I... I'm not going to use Etsy, that's for damn sure, but I need to check out Shopify, I need to check out a couple other systems that I can incorporate into a website, and a blog. A running blog might be nice, so, yeah. If I look like crap, it's because I got hit by my ovarian rebellion, and it hit like a dump truck, but I got a package, so we're going to film... The stationary pal video now. Yeah. Oh, Sunday. And I'm trying to save my garlic. The kangaroo rats were straight up ignoring the traps that we had set out. So, a lot of my garlic bit the dirt. One sec. So, I had to replant all of my emergency garlic seeds, sprouts, all of that. I've got stuff coming up. But it might actually be onions, not garlic. Do you wish to say hello? You want to say hello? Hmm? <laughs> That's a Fiona cat. And then you've got these two enjoying the sun. Moving the cat shelf was a very good idea. Because <laughs> I can actually open that window. Whereas if it's on another window, I can't open it and still have them get to it. Uh, it is a very windy day today, which means that the windows, despite the fact that it's like 70 degrees already, and it's not even 1030 yet in the morning, um, but very windy. So I am not going to be opening the windows very far. I've been working to psych myself up to vacuum. <laughs> I have... Been working on birthday wish lists, even though my birthday isn't until July. Uh. <laughs> I'm actually getting ready to, once I eat breakfast, to film the opening comments for my April Bujo setup, which is going up today. And then this vlog goes up on Monday. And it's going to be three videos in a row. Because the stationary pal stuff came in on Friday, but I had no energy to edit and upload it until yesterday. I, seven videos this month. My goal has always it is around six. Um, four weekly vlogs, bullet journal setup, and then a sixth one of either a chit chat or just a random focused in on something like in particular video. So, and this week's vlog, I'm going to have a compilation of animals being cute at the end with pictures and video for you guys. So I think I'm going to wrap Sunday at least this part of Sunday up here 
and I'm going to go get a video of somebody being cute. I may or may not have done very sneaky things to be able to have these two waffles to myself sometime this weekend with a lot of butter. Butter. Apparently dehydrating coconut is a little bit more difficult than I thought. Very wet on the inside. Yeah. This is a vast improvement over what it was about a year and a half ago.